So another study is proving, or at least saying it's proving, what a lot of us have heard before. The eliminating meat from your diet may improve your heart health, even if you're already healthy. And this morning's alert for you, a new study suggests vegan diets can slow the aging process. Researchers from Stanford University studied 22 sets of identical twins. One twin would eat a vegan diet while the other twin ate an omnivorous diet. That included at least one serving of fish, meat, or chicken. At the end of the two-month experiment, two months, researchers say the twin who ate the vegan diet had lower cholesterol and insulin levels and even lost weight. Let's bring in Dr. Dave Montgomery, a News Nation's medical contributor. Okay, Dr. Dave, listen. Every once in a while, I myself will indulge in a vegan diet because it just seems right, like my body needs to take a break. But what in the world can science really teach us about a two-month experiment? Doesn't it need to be longer than that to prove that we can live longer by not eating meat? Yeah, well, you know, that's a really great point, Adrian. But I think what they're saying is it only takes two months to see some very real differences in these diets. And I don't think that they're trying to say everybody should be, you know, sort of, you know, plant-based and eat only, uh, you know, vegan diet. Obviously, anybody who says all or never, we're going to sort of disregard mm -hmm. that, right? You know, not one size fits all. But what they are saying is really, really clear. When you eat uh, a diet that is replete with a lot of fruit and vegetables, plant-based um, um, foods, that your levels, these markers of what we call cardiometabolic health, that's just not just heart disease, but things like diabetes and weight and all the things that can come along with it, they are improved and they're improved pretty quickly. The, the interesting part about this was they added on data about um, a molecule called TMAO, which is a breakdown product of carnitine. We've heard of carnitine because some people supplement carnitine when they work out. But carnitine breaks down into TMAO, and cardiologists are interested in TMAO because it is something that is a, one of the risk factors or linked with cardiovascular disease. And so this is an, an interesting study. Well, one of the most interesting things to a lot of people that's encouraging is that people who didn't eat meat, the twin who had the vegan diet, were biologically younger, according to certain markers. What does that mean? Yeah, so, you know, I think we should take that part with a grain of salt. Wouldn't it be great? I mean, we're all trying to figure out how to make this thing go a little bit longer. Well, you know, my life is great. How do I, how do I extend it? Longevity science is a big thing right now. With that being said, the marker TMAO is, is what they're talking about. Uh, trimethylamine anoxide, say that a couple times fast. With that being said, it's been associated in some studies with um, accelerated aging on the cellular level. We haven't seen it necessarily in humans. Um, but I think, you know, what it's saying overall is these markers that are associated with other chronic conditions are improved with more vegetables and fruit. Well, it kind of makes sense. Well, it makes sense, but I just don't know. Does this study really say that all of us should eliminate meat completely or... Should we take those little pauses, just like this group did with the two-month study, and just, you know, intermittent fasting, but with steak instead of all food? Yeah. <laughs> I love that. And there are people who are going to write you and say, yes, yes, Adrian, that was it. Here, you know, here's what I always say. Everybody should do two things. One of them is to have goals. What are your goals for your own health? Believe it or not, I talked to hundreds of people, and not very many of them have explicit goals that they've set for their health. And number two, you've got to know if that goal and your approach to that goal is going to be right for your physiology. So there are people, I just talked to some last week, who should not eat all vegetables all day long because it's not good for them at that time. And the only way for you to know is go and be, do a rigorous evaluation of yourself. How do you do that? Get some blood work, get diagnostics, mm -hmm. and know if this is gotcha. going to work for you. One size doesn't fit all. All right, Dr. Dave, thank you for that reminder. Balance is key and a tailor-made plan for your own health. Talk to you, doctor. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.